All right, so another issue I've been having with VR has to do with AI ATC. Uh, if for some reason you want to fly with AI ATC, when you enable it, all you see is this 2D window in the top right corner of your screen. And you can't actually see anything and it's virtually of no use to you. So with this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And here it is. These are the commands that the Lockheed developers have Im implemented so that you can manipulate the AI ATC box once you are in VR. Now, the way you need to do this is you need to enable VR, take off the headset, point the mouse at the AI ATC box and execute any one of these commands to get the box to be where you want it to be so that you can actually see it. Uh, let me show you how that's done. This is being done strictly for demonstration purposes. What you do is you point at the box, put the box where you want it to be in your virtual cockpit within VR, and then tweak it using one of those commands. Now in this case, I never did get the damn thing to be exactly how I wanted it to be. But by playing with it long enough, you can get the uh, AI ATC window to be where you want it to be. How it looks, in the virtual reality window on your computer is going to be entirely different from how it actually looks in your uh, VR headset. So you need to be going back and forth and keep tweaking it uh, slowly but surely to get it so that it's how you want it to look. This was obviously an afterthought since P3D, which evolved from FSX, was never designed from the ground up to support virtual reality. So it's a little bit of a half-assed implementation, but it's better than nothing. Once you are in within the virtual reality window within P3D, a lot of the stuff that we take for granted, including the AI ATC, is a lot more uh, difficult or tricky to uh, take advantage of. But these are the commands they put in place, and this is how you implement resizing and moving and configuring the AI ATC window in P3D for virtual reality. Before I go, one more thing. When you make these changes and you make these configurations and you got the window just right, unfortunately they are not saved. You're going to have to do this every time you start a new flight. And that's it. My name is Flight Some Guy. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video useful. I will see you next time.